All right, in this video, I'm going to be tying up <clears throat> a variation of Cole Wilde's shad fly. Uh, there's a couple variations in uh, Pfeiffer shad fishing. Uh, the, the main difference between this and the original is it just has a, a wrapped hackle rather than a wet fly style hackle. Um, in the vise, I've got a Mustad 34007 hook, and I'll be tying the fly with a uh, uni thread, six aught, and white. I'll go ahead and lay down uh, some thread. Take that down about an eye's length away from the eye. And next I'm going to tie in some embossed tinsel. And we need maybe 10 inches or so of that. Just to be safe. Go ahead and tie that in behind the eye and then advance our thread all the way down <clears throat> down to the barb of the hook alright next material we're going to use is a uh, a white floss and I'm going to pull off oh, probably two two and a half feet of that And then I'm going to fold it in half around our thread and capture it at the top of the hook. And we can leave that there for a moment, a few moments. We're going to start to build up <clears throat> the basic body shape. Um, the fly calls for a cigar shaped body and we build that cigar shape by just basically advancing the thread back and forth but stopping just short each time. So I'd stop it just short on the way back and just short where I went the last time on the way forward. I'm going to do that several times. And I like to build it with the thread first just to conserve and floss. And the floss is kind of a difficult material to work with anyway. It has a tendency to fray so if I had to do you know, 10 passes with floss, chances are I'm going to get a frayed body. I like a nice smooth body. Thread's cheap too. Floss can be expensive. So you can see we're starting to build up a fatter body. And that kind of cigar or football shape. Just take your time. It requires a decent amount of thread. Advance my thread all the way back to the butt of the fly again. And start the whole process over again. You really want a nice fat cigar shaped body for this pattern. pretty good. Go ahead and advance my thread forward. Take it back about an eye's length behind the eye. Actually I'm going to take it all the way forward just to help get the bobbin out of my way while I take my floss now and start wrapping it. I want to try to do this gently. Don't really stroke the floss um, so much as just try to maneuver it around the hook if at all possible because even even your fingers can start at fraying.
careful with the hook tip, it'll definitely want to split the floss. Alright, that looks pretty good. Nice fat body. <clears throat> Go ahead and trim our excess floss and just snip any of the little frays that might have gotten started. Next we're going to wrap our tinsel, and I like to give, just like you would on a salmon fly, a little silver butt right at the end before we start our wraps forward. So just two, three, four little wraps at the butt of the fly just to give it a little flash right back there. And then I start my wraps forward. And nice wide wraps. Try to keep them even. Just add some flash and the ribbing and this kind of segmented body. Really a nice looking fly. Capture our tinsel with our thread. and then snip our excess. Now to protect that pretty body, I'm just going to hit it with some Sally Hansen's. We'll protect our floss, which would otherwise become frayed fairly quickly after catching a fish or two. Fly will last a lot longer like this. It kind of gives it a translucent white look. Almost, um, almost like a cocoon or something. It's pretty nice. Alright, the next material we want to tie in <clears throat> is a white hackle. Uh, it says it could either be white or yellow in the original. <clears throat> I chose white. And I've got a, a saddle hackle here that I've prepared. And it's a nice webby hackle. And you want to make sure that that Sally Hansen's is good and dry, which it does set up very quickly and feels good. And I want to tie in the fly, and I'm going to tie this, or tie in the hackle. And on this fly, I'm going to tie it in tip first. Try that again. And then I'm going to cut off our feather tip there. And, and I want this fairly sparse. It's probably only going to take, uh, I don't know, two or three wraps, maybe four. Looks pretty good. And then we want to just snip off the excess feather. 
and we want to stroke all those fibers back, all the barbs back. And give a few wraps. Looks pretty good. Basically, we want the the barbs to lay back or the hackle to lay back. Um, now we're going to go ahead and just whip finish off our our white there, our white thread. And finish, fly calls for a red head. So I'm just going to tie in a bit of Danville's. Flat wax nylon. A couple locking wraps. Trim off our excess, try not to hit that hackle. And build up a nice red head and give a whip finish And we'll just touch the thread wraps with some Sally Hansen to protect that head. And there you have it. Variation of Cole Wild Shad Fly. This is done with a, a full wrap tackle. Probably a little more complex of a fly than I would tend to tie for shad, but it really is a, a good looking fly. Um, and I'm sure it would entice a shad to, to grab it. Enjoy.